For this video, I want to share my pregnancy journey from 2020 to 2021 and highlight my favorite outfits that I wore and show off my maternity looks. Nathalia was conceived in August and I found out I was pregnant in September. I wanted to do my pregnancy announcement when I was showing more so I held off until December 5th. I wanted to do a steamed bun photo shoot because I nicknamed her Steam Bun when she was in my womb. My husband complied and chose the items for the shoot. He even wore a chef hat for it. He also decided on the word play on the sign. Instead of bun in the oven, we did steam bun in the basket. The first look I want to show, I wore this princess dress from everythingcuteclub.com. By the way, you can enter my code PIXELBUNNY at checkout for a discount off your total, but your minimum order has to be $35. Anyways, I drew a not-so-perfect dumpling on my cheek for the shoot. The hearts choker I'm wearing is from Forever 21, and the teddy bear earrings are from Etsy. Being pregnant, it goes without saying that loose-fitting clothes are comfier to make room for your baby's temporary house. In this look, I wore an oversized boyfriend button-up with some cozy over-the-knee socks, and on the inside, I wore this flora bralette from Victoria's Secret. It was just too cute not to show, plus it matched my nails, and I am not gonna lie, my twins were looking real nice. Having perkier twins is a pregnant perk, am I right? You're making me nervous. It's only natural. Don't look at me. Um, moving on. I wore this outfit when I did a sponsored collab post for Vita Cup, which I'm really happy about because I still drink this coffee to this day. It's their beauty blend. I'll link it in the description if anyone is interested. I wish they sponsored me for a lifetime, but it was just this once. Nonetheless, I'm happy with the collab. I also built a gingerbread house with my hubby on the same day. Expectation. Reality. <laughs> I want to do. <laughs> How am I supposed to climb over there? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit just broke. my third look it's my christmas eve outfit i wanted to go for a pink christmas look my beret is from motokawa my cardigan is from forever 21 my peach jumper is from oo box i think that's how you pronounce it my jeans are from fashion nova and my boots are from famous footwear for christmas day i spent the day at 20's house and gave my munchkins their presents <laughs> this mrs claus dress twinny gave me with black over the knee socks i don't have any other pics or videos of me that day so this is all i got of the dress when i got home for a quiet christmas evening i wore my polar bear slippers and my husband and i opened gifts at home i got him an ornament with usalia's ultrasound picture and he seemed really happy about it and said it was his favorite christmas gift For my New Year's outfit, I wanted to go for a blue New Year's look. This cute Japao Chinese style dress is from Everything Cute Club. A lot of dresses are from Everything Cute Club in this lookbook, by the way, so don't forget to use my discount if you see something you like on there. Here are some New Year's Eve and day photos. I almost forgot to mention the socks are from Francesca's. I 
wore this outfit to go to my mom-in-law's birthday dinner. My scrunchies from H&M, my bunny necklace was from a jewelry store at the mall that I can't remember the name of, my coat is from Kate Spade, turtleneck is from Yes Style, my denim overall dress is from H&M, handbag is Nine West, tights are from Shein, and my boots are from Nasty Gap. This outfit was for my birthday party 20 through for me at her house. Riley, you are messing up my ass. Hit you with that. I wore this for my birthday dinner that Honey Bear took me on my actual birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Happy birthday. Here are scrunchies from H&M. The earrings and the necklace are a set from Kate Spade. Handbag is Betsy Johnson. Socks are from Forever 21. And the boots are from Burlington Coat Factory. Dresses from Everything Cute Club, of course. Look how cute it is. I like that little flower. I was very cautious and would always double check what's advised against eating while I was pregnant and since tiramisu is made with raw eggs and raw eggs could contain salmonella, as a precaution I ordered the banana bread pudding. They ended up mixing our orders but it was no biggie because we just switched plates which also reminds me of the fact that my sister made my chocolate bear dessert without raw eggs. Looking back, I feel super blessed for having such a supportive and caring sister to look out for me even with the tiniest details so I just had to bring it up. I think this was a random errand day in January. I love this cute winter bunny day look. My earmuffs was a birthday gift from my mom. Totoro jacket is from Hot Topic. Turtleneck sweater is from H&M. The tights were a gift from my oldest sister. The boots are from Make Me Chic. And the backpack is Betsy Johnson. I went on my first cabin trip ever with Twinnie, my brother-in-law, my nieces, and my husband. This is what I wore for Valentine's Day. I was going for a Lolita look. I thought the ice cream earrings complement the dress because it has cows and milk on it. The headband is from Forever 21. Lashes are from Milky Lashes. Ice cream earrings are from Etsy. Choker is from Forever 21. I don't remember where the blouse is from. And my dress is from Everything Q Club. For dinner, we went to go eat hot pot and sushi. If someone tells you not to wear crop tops during pregnancy, wear it anyways because it actually looks good. This is what I wore for my maternity milk bath photo shoot. The flower crown and dress were gifted from Twinnie and she also took these stunning photos for me as well as decorate the set for the photo shoot.
so exciting. So exciting. <laughs> During this time, because of COVID, there are restrictions on the number of people at places in public and at home. If you wanted to have parties, there were limits. So my sister-in-law wanted to throw us a baby shower at her friend's restaurant, which was for my husband's side. On the other hand, my sister 20 threw us a baby shower on a later date so that more of my side of the family and my friends can celebrate as well. I appreciated both parties and I feel so lucky to have such a supportive family on both sides. Even though I was still pregnant at this time during Mother's Day, I still consider it my first Mother's Day as a mom. I wore my mom's old cherry blossom dress she gifted me and tied my hair with this flower scrunchie from H&M. This was my Mother's Day look. This was also the year that as a family we went to spread my grandmother's ashes in the ocean to set her free with flowers. This is the last outfit of the day I wore before giving birth to Zalia. Before I met with my family to hang out that day, I went to Target with my hubby and I decided to try this new drink at Starbucks. And while I was in line, I met this lovely old lady and she asked me when I was due and she said that I looked fabulous in my dress. So my outfit details my scrunchie is from h&m the dress is from a lucky brand and my slip-on shoes the only shoes that i could actually fit at the time that i own are from big lots are those? she looked fabulous as well i remember she wore a cute matching tie-dye set so little did I know I was giving birth in a few hours. She came out at 2.54 a.m. But I hung out with my family until about 11 p.m. and went home that night. As a bonus outfit for the end, I wanted to include my going home dress that I wore the day I took Usalia home from the hospital. This nursing dress was really comfortable for me and I actually got it from Amazon which I will link in the description as well as this heart pixel that I ironed on the dress myself which I meant to iron it on the other side but I messed that up. My husband's t-shirt as well as Usalia's onesie, they both are also from Amazon which I will link as well. 